Hey everyone, for today's topic, I want to discuss how it's really not that difficult to be happy. Now, I know that some of you are probably going to get triggered by me saying that because that's not exactly how we've been raised. That's not exactly how many cultures view happiness, but it actually isn't all that difficult to be happy. So before you get mad at me and leave like a, an angry comment saying, Josh, that's not true. I've been chasing happiness. Let me explain what I mean here. So many of us kind of have this really unhelpful view of happiness. We believe it's something we need to pursue or chase, which immediately means we don't have it in the here and now, right? Like if you need to pursue or chase something, that means you don't have that thing. That's why you're trying to obtain it. So that's not helpful for viewing happiness because it trains us to believe that we can never be happy until we get certain things that apparently should make us happy, like a relationship or making a million dollars or buying your dream car or dream house, whatever it may be. And yet, I'm sure many of you have heard the countless stories of people obtaining what they believe they wanted and it still doesn't make them happy. Why is that? It's because happiness has far more to do with your mindset, the way that you think, than anything else. Let me explain my point here. So take two different people in the same situation. They're both staring out a window all day, just watching people go by, cars go by, watching nature interact and that sort of thing, just looking at the beauty in front of them. You can have two people in that same situation, just looking out the window all day, doing nothing else. And one of them could end the day saying it was actually a really good time. They enjoyed it and they, they liked doing it. And that person would be happy just staring out the window all day, which basically means being present in the moment. And then another person doing the same thing could end the day saying, oh my God, that was like one of the most boring things I've ever done. I wanted to kill myself. Like what the hell? That was horrible. I wanted to be on my phone the whole time. And there you go. That person will be very unhappy at the end of the day. Notice how in that situation, they'd both be doing the same thing. It's not really anything eventful. I mean, <laughs> sure, I get that. But if one person could be happy doing that, that kind of tells you happiness is tied more to the way that we think than anything else. Because you could also have the same situation where instead of them both looking out the window all day, maybe they're at an amusement park going on rides and the first person will still have a great time because they are just in a good mindset for creating their own happiness. And then that other person could still, even at an amusement park going on fun rides, end the day saying, you know, that was okay, but it wasn't enjoyable. I didn't have fun. The sun was beating down on me the whole time. I needed water. I was getting dehydrated. They could just come up with all these negative things that made their amusement park visit not an enjoyable time. So do you see what I mean here? It's a mindset thing because if you can go to places that should create a fun time for you and still come out of it unhappy, that's kind of telling you it isn't the external things controlling your happiness. It's you. It's the way that you think. It's your mindset. So this is why I mean it's really not actually that difficult to be happy. It is isn't. it isn't. <laughs> like you have to work on the way that you think. But this is what I mean that it's not that difficult in theory because you don't need other things to make you happy. You don't need to become a millionaire. You don't need a, a really attractive girlfriend who sleeps with you more than once a week or that sort of thing, whatever it may be. You don't need external things to be happy. This is why I say it's not that difficult because so many of us believe we need to obtain all these things to be happy. That's not true. That's simply not true. If you have that mentality of never being able to be happy in the here and now, you could get everything you've ever wanted and you would still be unhappy. So change the way that you think. One of the biggest things you can do to help yourself become happier in the here and now is to just be more grateful. Be happier for the things that you have in the here and now. Like even keep a gratitude journal. I used to do this. Every night before bed, I would write down three things minimum that I was grateful for that day. And the first item was always the same because it literally is the thing I'm most grateful for, which was waking up that morning, still being alive, still being able to experience life as a human being on this beautiful planet we call Earth. That was always item number one because it just trained me to be grateful right away. Like if I wake up and I'm here, I'm alive, I'm grateful. 
And that is what I'm talking about. If you start your day just being grateful to be here, to exist, you're probably going to be happier than most people because how could you not? When you start from that perspective, it kind of makes you start thinking in a way that everything you experience is a gift. Even sometimes bad things, although not always, but <clears throat> the bad things come with the good, of course, right? That's an aspect of life. We can't really stop that from happening. But I'm, call me weird, but I'm one of those people who, even if I'm experiencing something bad, I'm still grateful that I'm here to experience it. I know that sounds kind of weird because not all bad things are that enjoyable. By definition, I don't think any of them really are enjoyable. But I'm just, if I'm still able to exist and experience a good day tomorrow after experiencing a bad day today, I will take that bad day anytime because I know that tomorrow is going to be coming and tomorrow will be better. And I want to be able to experience tomorrow. I want as many days as I can get until my time is up and this human body can't keep up with, you know, maintaining itself anymore and I end up passing away or God forbid, hopefully it's not like some tragic accident or something like that, but we never know, right? So I am just grateful to be here for as long as this ride lasts. And because of that, it does make it easier for me to be happy more than most people. So you really just want to practice gratitude. That's like the easiest way to create happiness in the here and now. But another tip I can share with you is just practicing being content in the present moment being able to just exist in the present moment, literally just looking around and taking things in and kind of almost with a childlike curiosity, marveling at like, holy crap, all these things exist and I'm here to experience it all because that's something really beautiful. Going back to that example I used earlier of staring out the window, that first person in that example was able to enjoy staring out the window all day, probably because they're in that headspace of just looking around and being like, this is incredible. Like all these things exist. I'm here to witness it all. This is really cool. But then that second person is clearly not thinking from that perspective. So they're just gonna be looking at it all like, why am I here? What, what the hell is there to see? Nothing is happening. This is boring. And that's because that person is not grateful for even existing in the first place, for having the pleasure to be here and experience being a human being on planet Earth. Like this really is something special and I wish more people realize that. That's why so many people are unhappy because they think they need external things and they're never ta they're taking it for granted that they exist. They're never thinking like, holy crap, I'm here and this is insane, right? Like think about how crazy it is that you're alive. Really think about that. For you to be alive, so many things had to have happened in the past to create this moment, right? Now, I don't even mean just your parents meeting and the odds of that, but I mean going way beyond that, way through all of your ancestors, back to the earth even existing and being the distance from the sun that it is to create the Goldilocks environment for human life to, to thrive on planet earth. And then beyond that, the solar system as a whole existing, and beyond that, the Milky Way galaxy existing to hold the solar system, and then beyond that, the entire universe existing. And, we don't even know how the hell the universe exists, right? Like the Big Bang Theory is apparently the most widely held theory, but it's just a theory. We don't freaking know how the hell the universe is here. We don't know. We can't explain that because it's beyond our comprehension, but it exists. It's here. And because of that, you exist and you're able to be here and just witness all of this insane magic and beauty out there. It's something special. So this is what I mean about how happiness isn't that difficult because it's all in the way that you think. And if you're truly grateful to be here in the first place, how could you not be happy most of the time? Because it's just, it's insane, right? It really is crazy that we're all here. So that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you in this video, just to give you some help in realizing that you don't need external things to be happy. Like it really isn't that difficult. It's just changing the way you think up here. And even doing that, Sure, it takes practice, but even that's not the most difficult thing ever. Just practice gratitude more often, be able to be present in the moment and realize just how special and insane it is that you exist. They're able to hear what I'm saying to you right now and able to see this video, comprehend it all. It's, it's, it's crazy, <laughs> it really is. So hopefully I've instilled that in your mind so you can move forward with that gratitude for even being here in the first place. And with that, Hopefully you'll be a lot happier 
moving forward. But anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I truly hope you enjoyed this video. If you like content like this, be sure to subscribe for more. Otherwise, the easiest way you can help me out is just to throw a like and a comment on the video for the algorithm. And I will see you guys in the next one. Arrivederci!